Hey everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. So I figured in this video what I wanted to do because I've been thinking about it for a bit was to update the uh, what we did in a previous video that is currently popular on my channel where we are doing the ledge climb while jumping or falling. So if you have seen that video what you will have you know come to understand that we have done is we've done a separate branch check off of the is moving on ground uh, branch check and what we were doing is getting a our Z velocity to check if it is less than 100 because basically what we're doing here is to check if we are falling so I know in that video I did go over that you could use the is falling node for a branch check there but that is falling node is technically a node that grabs whether we are in the air or not it doesn't specifically get that we are jumping or falling particularly those instances it's just getting if we are in the air at all. So it's not differentiating any of those two. So that's why what we did for this branch check is we did a Z velocity check it to see if it was less than 100. Because in this instance, basically we can kind of differentiate it or tell it that if we are falling, quote unquote, that, you know, we want to do a ledge climb onto another traversal level block. So that's what this check is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this into its own function and what we're going to do with this because we copied the forward trace distance from here is we're going to turn it into its own forward trace distance check that we can then modify to be able to get its own unique values in order to do a ledge climb while jumping or falling and it's going to be the same setup as what's in here it's just we're going to call it a different function name so it's really going to just be like a copy paste. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to select these three nodes and I'm going to hit control X to cut them out, but also copy them because now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function and we're going to call it check if Z velocity is less than 100. So you'll notice that I put underscores in the function name in order to get spacing like this, because if you ever do function names to where you want to get this kind of name, then with like the Z dash velocity, because there's two capitals right here, but they're divided by or uh, they're, you know, gapped by a hyphen or dash. Typically what would end up happening is that these three letters or word or four letters or words, <clears throat> not letters, would be like scrunched together and not you know spaced out like that so if you ever want them spaced out like that you would just kind of add underscores into like whatever word or letters would have like a hyphen in between them so now what we're going to do is the stuff that we had cut we are then going to paste into here and what we're going to do is off of the input node we're going to drag off and get a return node and on the return node, what we're going to do is this branch check, or not the branch check, but the uh, the Boolean output that we get from the, the check of the less than, we're going to then throw into there, so that way we get a strictly return value. Because now what we're gonna do is on the return node or the start node, doesn't matter which one, we are going to convert it into a pure function. So a pure function is basically just a, a way of not having an execution pin so it doesn't like execute anything like or modify anything in particular into the the function basically we're doing a straight check of whatever we want in here and just returning a value we don't want anything else we don't want any other modifications made unless you have like inputs that will feed it through like mathematical operations that strictly do one thing and one thing only and then or maybe not one thing only but in the sense only do strictly what it's supposed to do like yes functions can do what they're supposed to do but however when you make impure functions you will then be able to make execution pins into which case that you can have many different forms kind of like what you'll get in the try uh, traversal action function where you can have multiple sequences or lines to where it will go through all sorts of checks balances or modifications this we just strictly want to return a value so now that we have that we're going to compile and save it and hop back into the event graph and now if I take out my function, you can see that we now have a pure check function for checking if we are basically quote unquote falling. 
So I'm going to plug that up into the condition right there. And now we're going to work on our get traversal forward trace distance. So like I said, this one is going to be very easy. It's just a very simple copy and paste because it's not much we have to change. We just got to create a new function for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to copy this. I'm not going to cut it because remember we copied in the last video the get traversal for trace distance. So if you cut these out, you're basically modifying all instances of that pure function. So we just want to copy this and then hop back into our event graph to where we can now get rid of this instance. And then we're going to create a new function called the get traversal trace forward distance except now what we're going to do is or actually sorry it's get forward traversal forward trace distance because i want to keep the same name but we're going to call it for ledge climb just so that we know what it's specifically for so then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this into here and then we're going off the input we're going to then drag off and get a return node into which case now we pass the return value into here. And then what we're going to do is we are then going to convert it into a peer function just to also match the, you know, the get traversal for distance or trace distance original peer function. So now what we can do is then drag this out to where we have our own separate function and then hook it into the trace forward distance. And now what we can do is then go in here to modify it specifically to what we want. So, you know, one of the things that I did testing with and that I had another YouTuber comment on is that 175 for the outrange B for our check that if we, when we are moving forward is a very nice, like tight trace to where it doesn't feel like I'm grabbing the ledge from super far away. And then I'm also feeling close enough to where it will do like a nice ledge grab. So now that I show you that, if we go back into the get traversal forward distance and I hit compile and save, you can see that we still re we still keep our other uh, trace distance modification or values, you know, as they are. So now we have basically the same things. It is just that now we can adjust our own, you know, range for the climb. So now if we do play, you'll be able to come over here. So I'm going to sprint over here. And then once I climb up here, so now if we go ahead and jump, you could see that it's a little bit tighter for us to be able to ledge grab the next traversal level block. And then if I come back down here, boom, see, we were able to catch on to that and do a nice little ledge grab. So that is pretty much it for this video. It, it was a very quick video. That's what I, my, the goal was for this because we wanted, I wanted to just do a quick update to basically turn this into a pure function so it looks cleaner and nicer and I wanted to just make our own pure function so we can modify the ledge climb you know distance for when we are moving forward and while we are falling in order to grab a ledge or traversable level block you know while we're you know jumping or falling so like I said that's pretty much it for this video guys so if you did enjoy that i greatly appreciate it and i would appreciate it if you check out my other videos and my future videos to come but other than that y'all have a great rest of your day and take care